USB, the most used port on any device, all because of that U. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus, and has been in use with the USB Type-A port for over two decades, but now, it's time for the future to take over. USB-C, the newest port standard to come out, is head and shoulders above the older Type-A port in pretty much every way, and is bringing us closer to being able to bring one type of charger on a trip, and still be able to power all of our devices. USB-C has a small size. Now this allows for smaller devices, and more ports on the same size devices. It's reversible, and it's actually similar to a lightning port in size. There's a cheaper design that has some cables with the seam, but other cables have a full metal surround. The pins are on the inside of the port, and it seems pretty durable. It's actually rated for 10,000 disconnect and reconnect cycles. Right now it's being used on newer Android smartphones and computers, but not on the iPhone for some reason, considering how much Apple pushes for USB-C on their laptops. From the design comes the usefulness of the port, as a replacement for pretty much every other port. Apple did away with every other port except for USB-C on their MacBooks. USB-C can supply 100 watts of power for devices that need more power to run. It allows charging through a USB-C port and can also be used to power laptops through a monitor with a USB-C input. LG has a few USB-C monitors as well as some other companies, I'll link these down below. USB-C also came out around the time that the USB 3.1 spec was released, which brings the transfer speeds from the 5 gigabits per second USB 3 to 10 gigabits per second for USB 3.1. This allows for faster read and write speeds on USB devices like external SSDs and RAID arrays. Now this port's incredibly versatile. It can be used for displays and pretty much anything else that a port is needed for. There are hubs for USB-C that adds back SD card slots and USB ports, but purchasing new cables makes much more sense. Looking through Amazon, there is a cable or an adapter for everything, from mini USB to HDMI and DisplayPort. There are also USB-C extenders that allow full pass-through power as well as data. Currently, we need to be using hubs for some things, but in the future when things start switching to USB-C fully, it will be a much more seamless experience. We're also getting Thunderbolt 3's 40 gigabits per second on some USB-C ports. Not all ports have the ability to use Thunderbolt 3, but the ones that do have a whole extra set of functionality and usually have a lightning bolt next to the port. Thunderbolt was designed by Intel and really wasn't used much by Windows manufacturers until the Type-C port came out. Thunderbolt uses PCIe lanes on your CPU to allow much faster transfer speeds than any other solutions allow. With all that bandwidth to work with, there are many options through this port now. Full docks that add display ports, many more USB-A ports, Ethernet and power to the laptop are now supported on a lot more computers. There are also external GPU solutions that allow the use of a laptop's internals and an external graphics card for better gaming or CUDA performance at around 90% of the full capability of the card. Right now these are not supported on Mac OS, but on Windows laptops there's the Razer Core and then there's some other PCIe devices that run over USB Type-C and Thunderbolt. For people that want a thin and light laptop for on the go, but also want more power run at home, this is awesome. Getting 90% of PCIe Gen 3 bandwidth over one cable is amazing, and something that really hasn't been done before USB Type-C. Looking at other ports that are out now, there isn't really much that needs to stay besides the USB Type-C ports and possibly the SD card slot for at least one or two generations. Hopefully there's a replacement for the SD card that's coming soon that works with USB Type-C and other SD card devices. Overall though, this port is easily going to be around for a long time, and companies like Apple and others using this port are pushing the industry forward, and I'm all for that. And that's all for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.